All right, so today we are going to talk about the difference between an array and a linked list. Now, we're going to be looking through more into fundamental difference between array and a linked list using memory. So we're going to be simplifying this and so that we could just focus on the actual difference and we don't need to think about uh, you know bits and bytes and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at here we have two sets of memory. The first one I'm going to put an array and then the second one I'm going to put a linked list here. So let's just let's just count the number of memory using numbers instead of like uh, hexadecimal addresses. Like for example, I can have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have nine unit of memory here, right? So like I said, it's gonna be simplified. So usually in um, we have different sizes for different primitives. For example, a character only takes one byte and an integer takes four bytes usually, but let's not worry about that. We're going to be learning uh, the fundamentals instead. Okay, so what happens in an array? So as you know, in an array, usually what you see in maybe like a computer representation of it is something like this, right? You have like three, two, one. Right, let's just use this array as an example. Three, two, one. So in memory, if it's an array, what would it look like? So it would look something like this. In the first slot, we have the number three. The second slot, we have the number one. And then the third slot, we have the number one. Right, three, two, one. And then that's just how it's laid out in memory. So that's why when we think of an array, we could think of this array as being A and then this would be a0, we would get three, a1, we would get two, and then a2, we would get the value one, right? And then what does this actually mean? This actually means the address of a, right? So imagine if this is an address. So the address of a plus two units of memory, right? And then the address, imagine if this address was like 0x, and then if you add 2, then this would be 0x2. So in some sense, this address, 2, is the same as this address, right? So essentially, that's what you're doing in an array, okay? So let's take that out. Now, let's think about what exactly happens with a linked list, though? And then we'll go back to array a little bit later. Um, let's let's color code this time. Let's color code to make it a little bit easier. So same with the linked list, but this time it's like three. And then you have, uh, let's choose uh, green, two, and then one would be orange, okay? And then we have, usually in linked list, we have arrows between them. Why? You'll see. So then three in like in the linked list, it could be, let's see here, right? And then for the two, it does not, it, it might not be here. It's actually probably not here. It would be somewhere else in the memory. It could be anywhere. So let's just say it's here. Now, because it's here, how do we access it? Well, we need the address of the next step in the memory. So how do you get that? So here we have three, okay? That's the value. And then next you have the address. So what is this address? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So then the value is almost like five. And then five points to here in this address right here, right? And then two, same thing, it's gonna have an address. So let's say the address is, um, I don't know, four. Oops, that's wrong color. Let's say the address is four. Then the one would be placed right here. Zero, one, two, three, Four. Oops, that probably wouldn't work because uh, we don't have enough space. So instead of uh, four in this example, we're going to change it to, uh, let's see, zero, one, two, three. We're going to change it to three, right? So then three is going to point to here. And then now we have one and then also whatever the next address is. But the ne next address will be zero because uh, we're not going to be pointing to anything anymore. So now, this is a very simplified case. Remember, just because it's zero, it does not point to here. We just simplified it to name it zero as the address, but this address can be usually look like this, for example, like zero x um, four, 
and then 0, x, 8, and then um, stuff like that. What's after 0, x, 8? Yeah, so to make it more clear, this would be a value, this would be an address, and then this would be a value, this would be an address, this would be a value, this would be an address. Yeah, so this is the biggest difference between how you put a linked list into a memory versus an array, right? So that's pretty much for today. Uh, we're gonna be talking more about what these differences actually mean in the future. But for now, just remember that a linked list basically does not have a contiguous, it is not contiguous inside the memory. But in an array, it is contiguous because each value is stuck to each other. They're right next to each other. However, the linked list might not be. All right, cool. So thank you so much for watching and then I'll see you next time.